What's up, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel, Twisted Barbell. Today I have a treat for myself, finally, what I would consider the last addition to my home gym, and that is the Rep Fitness AB5100 Adjustable Bench, or FID. Now, I have to be honest, I flip-flopped a few times on which bench I wanted from them, and this was my original choice, but it wasn't my most recent choice. Uh, I really wanted to go with the AB5200 because the current bench that I have, which is really substandard quality, but it was just something I needed to fulfill the home gym, and I got it from Amazon. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos in the past, you may be familiar with the fact that I'm not crazy about it, uh, but it is an FID bench. It isn't very strong, it isn't very secure, it makes a lot of noise when under weight, but um, what I learned from having this bench is that I'm not a huge fan of benches with pop pins, so to speak, because they are a little difficult. They obviously require two hands and you know you have to basically hold the back or the front of the bench while you pull the pop pin and it's ideal to do so from one side of the bench rather than the other if you have to lean over the bench, reach around and under to do that, it becomes a little bit of a, a headache. Uh, and it's not very convenient. So I wasn't a fan of getting another bench with pop pins. And therefore my most current first choice became the AB5200 bench. However, as you guys know, stock is very limited. So it's tough to really get what you want. So for me, I ended up kind of settling uh, on the AB5100. I was looking forward to having a bench that I could just lift the seat or lift the back and just kind of Put it in place with one hand for the most part so the ab5200 was really appealing to me and uh, i like the small platform foot in the front as well but again i digress because stock was not available they finally got the 5100 in red that i wanted to go with the rack and so i just decided to pull the trigger i know i'm going to be happy with this compared to the bench i'm currently sitting on it's going to be night and day difference in terms of quality, uh, security, and comfort. So uh, let's get to unwrapping this baby so I can put it together and show you and give you my initial thoughts. And then later on, I'll maybe uh, upload another video after having spent some time using it to give you my opinion on the bench itself. All right. So I'm done with assembly. That took me about 20 to 25 minutes or so. Bench is done. It looks fantastic. Feels really nice. I gotta tell you the padding. In the future, I'll do a more thorough review. Right now, this is just my initial thoughts, but it's very nice. Um, can't wait to put it in action, to be honest. And right now, initially, the only thing I see is slight potential issue is the seat looks like it's slightly askew. It doesn't line up parallel with the backrest, the bottom of the backrest. But let me see how this elevates. Okay, it looks like maybe there is an adjustment screw here I have to play with. But right now, it definitely looks like it's off, it's askew. So, I'm afraid I may actually have to return this after waiting so long for stock and then delivery. We'll see how it goes. Put it in place here. Exchange this old uh, cheesy bench with the wheels that keep coming off. This is a huge problem for me and one that I just keep struggling with trying to uh, figure out how to keep these on. But hopefully this won't be a problem for me anymore. 
All right, so let's see how this beast is in here. It is heavy. Easy to roll around because of the wheels. I'm going to have to put some new tape measurements on my horse stall mats so I can know where to position this every time. The AB5100 in place within the rack. It's been put together, took about 20, 25 minutes to assemble. Quite a significant chain from the bench I previously had. I wouldn't say that it was damaged in shipment, and I say that because the box was in fairly good condition, but the seat is askew, and that front rail here, where the front pop pin goes into notches, you might be able to see it clearly, how close it goes to the frame. It's basically touching when it's in certain angles, and there's quite a gap on the left side there. I do realize when I first put it together, uh, the seat was on backwards, and that was obviously an issue when you're assembling upside down. But as soon as I flipped it over, I realized a mistake. I love the bench. It's firm. Uh, it is significantly better in every way from the previous bench that I had, the budget bench. So one main characteristic of the bench that I want to discuss in my initial overview of this bench is the gap, seat gap between the seat and the backrest. Since the seat is askew, you can see the right side here is about four inches and the left side is about four and a quarter. I guess normally that would be about four inches consistently, which is fairly significant. So some people may have an issue with that. When I tested the bench out and did a couple of sets of flat bench presses, that wasn't an issue. The area for the lower back, the arch that you create when you're benching, goes over kind of like a bridge from one seat cushion to the backrest. So that really wasn't an issue in flat benching. But when I did test it in a more upright position for incline bench and seated shoulder presses, then the gap was a little more obvious to me. I felt it in the butt area, kind of crept into that gap a little bit. Nothing that made it completely uncomfortable or difficult to work with, but it was noticeable. So just want to point that out. All right, well, that's all I have for today with this unboxing and reveal of the bench. Like I said, I will make another video giving my opinion on the bench after two to four weeks of use. Uh, right now, it's awesome. The padding is super firm and um, I love the way it looks. I'm so far very happy with the way it operates. I just have to give Brett a call find out what they're gonna do about the seat being skewed. So. Thanks for your time again, I appreciate it, and we'll see you in the next one.